Aston Villa 2, West Bromwich Albion 2, and this is probably my fifth take of the video because I'm that fucking annoyed. So, you know, we start out the game, we get the penalty, definitely a penalty, we score the goal, and then I think from there we just let our heads go down, and obviously they get the penalty, they score a goal, and then from there, um, you know, I thought, I thought the ref went against us whole, the whole game, I thought the ref was definitely just a bit biased, and uh, obviously, um, you know, I think it was Diagonu who scored, but it wasn't his goal because it was deflected off Mings' foot, so... You know, another def a defensive mistake again, but I feel I do feel sick because we've just, you know, conceded two goals against West Brom. I mean, we should definitely be doing a double over them, and we should be definitely doing a, a clean sheet over them both times. But I just wanted to say one thing, and I'm not going against the manager at all. I love Dean. He's our manager, and he shouldn't, you know, lose his position at all. But I need to say this. Uh, team selection today, it wasn't great at all. Louise and... Bar Barkley should not have started, Ramsey and Nakamba should have. Both of them players have not done anything wrong at all, in my opinion. Ramsey's grabbing the ball, and obviously Nakamba's, you know, he's really good at defending and all that stuff that he does. But um, that's one problem that I have with, with what uh, Sam will do today. And obviously the second thing is, he's put the subs on way too late. And I think that's cost us the game, if you ask me. I mean... Obviously, when we put all three subs on, it made a difference because obviously Keenan Davis scored. It was really good. I was really pleased for him. He's got his goal. Uh, I think it was his first one of the Premier League. Well, I know he's been with us all through it. Um, he hasn't actually got a goal in it, so you know, fair play to him. He deserves a position in the next game. I think it's against Everton, by the way. But um, you know, if we put the subs on a bit sooner, I thought I think it was the first one we put on was Ramsey, which is in the 82nd minute or so. I feel we should have put the subs on around the 70th minute, so I thought we could have won it, because obviously the, the subs made a difference. 2-2, two, two, I, I, can't, I can't say we even deserve a draw today, I thought West Brom were amazing, you know, defending. Um, I can't say all the decisions were the right decision, I thought a lot of them went their way, it was just, you know, a bit, a bit cheating going on, but... You know, I can't really say that we deserved anything, but, you know, we got the points. I'm not going to turn down the points at all, you know, a point's a point. Um, but, obviously, it just goes down to the fact we are hardly surviving without Grealish. And, it's, you know, as a Villa fan, you don't really want to say anything like that, but it is true at the moment. But, you know, when the transfer window is back, I don't think we're going to lose Grealish, by the way. We just need to invest once again over 100 million. Get Jesse Lingard in, get Tammy Abraham in, get Todd Cantwell, Buendia, all these lovelies, you know what I mean? And yeah, but you know, as a Villa fan, we are just fucking hurt without Grealish right now. And it's just, it's really upsetting to see, but yeah, we got a point today. I'm happy with that, but I'm happy with the performance. So yeah, up the Villa, we're the pride of Villa. We'll see you in the next video. I think we're going to do another video on this game because... Uh, it's sort of made me realise I need to talk about what's going on right now because... I don't know, but yeah, other bit of the problem we'll see you in the next video.